That's interesting. It's a really good battery case. So awesome. So do you have a, a good a good way to like mount this onto the thing, or you still gotta figure that out? Uh, no, it actually, uh, yeah, it's a good way. It slides right in like a drawer. Okay. And uh, I need you to glue a few pieces. Uh, pieces I bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you get like any Velcro or anything like that? Yeah, I got Velcro. Oh, you got plenty of room. You could even like double up on this sometime if you ever wanted. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I was like, uh, I was like, it can either make it thinner mm -hmm. or I can double up, like you said. Oh, I get to see your your contraption in like yeah, full, a full day. Like this is oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> Sorry about that. There is your. Totally forgot. I didn't know you could get. Just me moving a cart. Should we steal this one? You mean? Okay. So you want to work on the wheels first, or do you want to work on the battery first? Okay. Let me just get these unloaded. I was thinking the battery too, since I, since I know a little bit more about it. Velcro, look at that. Oh, that was already pre-cut too. <gasps> That's going to be perfect. I can go and take that down too. Well. Should I go and put another bead over here? Sure. Okay. I'll flip it over later and do the, the other sides. Yeah. I think this one's starting to move. Oh, one of these. Is, yeah, that one. That is. one. So now we're going to be messing with m lengthening the balance leads so we can have that coming to all the balance leads, all the connectors on the batteries, I mean. Got my thing all cut and spliced to where I can, or stripped so I can add the wires to it. We have wire, heat shrink, and I figure, since this is, since this is mostly in the middle, I'll just go ahead and make it 12 inches around each way, just so any wire can reach anywhere in case something needs to be reconfigured. This is the only heat gun they have, so huh, I guess that'll work. So now we have all these little connectors, and we're just kind of connecting them on here. And I've already added the second heat shrink, so we can have that on there. It's actually yeah, pretty nice. I like it. So now we have this going. 
And I think we can just connect that up to there. I'll, I'll need to con connect this to that. So the battery will be going around from negative to positive. Then I can coat back through and hook up all the leads. Yeah, see, that, that's a good reason to check. Yeah. Oh. A spark? Or? Yeah, we had quite a bit of sparks there. Really nice little, little like, fireworks almost sparks. Yeah. Must be like the zinc or something like that. It's like, like frizzling up. It's telling you that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got power now. <laughs> So now we're just going to go through again and check them. Three point two. 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 Three point two ish. Three point two. Total voltage. Twenty five point five. Interesting. Okay. Because before I had this flip around, I was thinking that the voltage would be 22 or whatever. So 25 volts, that's about right. Let's pop it in there, see if it blows up. Boom. Or actually, no boom. I, mean. I think, I, I think, what about just like taping them down? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Ah, oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, that looks cool. I know, I like that. I like it. Remember, remember the, cube, the big cube back there? Yeah, yeah, that, that's changed a lot. Yeah, it changed the whole look. Right? Mm-hmm. So you want this to come out the back or something like that? Um, yeah, this will decide on that. Yeah, it looks like it's a little too short for that. I think maybe, uh, yeah, I decide. I might extend that. And, and now, now I see exactly what you meant about adding those little bits on the back of yeah. it to make it come out flush to this. Yep. That's so awesome. Yeah. And it probably has like twice the power as your yeah, lead acid ones. Big old lead acid. There's two lead acid in mm -hmm. here. So. Actually, then again, that'd be 100 amp hours. Because they're like just like RV truck batteries, right? Yeah. Like big ones. So that'd be 100 amp hours times 12 volts. So that'd be. Well, 1200. Anyway, anyway, so this is probably like a quarter of that. Never mind. But still, it's like, what, 1 20th the weight? So now we're going to replace your dicky switch on here. Yeah. It's gone. Well, I fucked it up. <laughs> there we go. This other one. And it looks like this just com comes undone ah, from that connector. So I might, might just replace that entire thing. So, what's your... Here, well, um, do you see a broken lever that folds forward? Yeah. It'll allow the chair to flip upward. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see now. There. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh we, got, we got power before I turned on. How do we turn it off? Uh, down would be off, but it's so broken. Yeah. And, and then you'll see, you'll see, um, if you want to fold it back up my way. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, you got yeah. it? Okay. I don't, I don't want to fuck it up for you. Well, it's a shame we can't just disconnect. Oh, your cable's all kind of marred up here. See that? 
Oh, you can't see oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, it's all kind of fucked up. It's the insulation, huh? Yeah, I can put paper on it if you want, yeah, or... definitely. Uh, sure, uh, I don't know where that cable goes, so that might be a big pain in the butt to get to. No, that should keep, that should keep you going for a little bit. It's just, it really has no off position because it's, it literally is. Wow, yeah, that is really neat. Well, I will... It's like ready to bust off. I'll try not to make it go flying. Yeah. Oh, is there an emergency switch? Uh, push this lever down. This one? That puts it in neutral. Okay, so then we can, we can turn it on and... Yeah, it'll be fun. There we go. I'm not going to kill you now. Yeah. Falls off. Oh, yeah. Um, looks like it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That like yeah, that's gonna be super easy. One gear. Oh, oh, so, so that that's actually what the switch does is gives you different gears. Yeah. It gives oh, okay. I see. All my different speeds. Nice. And I was cruising around for a good two or three months on just turtle. <laughs> What, being that slow? Yeah. I bet. You're quite literally stuck in first gear. But then again, I don't have the batteries that'll last any. That's true, yeah. Ended up being a quick fix. What? Ended up being like a quick fix. Yeah, that was actually pretty quick. Alright, let's power it up. Cool. Nice. Can you get to the high speed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, holy cow. What? You skidded your wheels there. Yeah, that was worth replacing the switch. So now it's on to troubleshooting the wheels and also troubleshooting the motor controller. We have this all set up. Batteries powering the motor controller. Oscilloscope hooked into motor controller. We're just hooked into the thick red and black wires on here. Power it on. Nothing really happens. And so this thing is on still though. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much on there. Then we move from that to... Yeah, hooking up this little connector is a little a pain in the butt. So let's just go to the smaller connectors. And then these connectors actually, whenever you power it on, it, it goes to 36 volts or so, or like 30 volts or 25 volts or whatever. So it doesn't seem like there's really that much smarts going through here. It may be waiting for the voltage to be pulled down on that. I don't know. Uh, maybe, yeah. But let's connect, let's connect up one wheel and then we can see. I know, I know. Um, so we got this all together and it's still not having anything. It does something a little voltage spike and it is giving... Whoa, what was that? You saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cycle on and off again. Yeah, I think probably better just to take this and open it up. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been screwing around a little bit and troubleshooting. There's really nothing we can do inside here, so I'm already putting it back together. It's kind of a messy soldering job in here, but it's, 
it's hard to tell sometimes what's broken and what's not. Because sometimes I'm, some stuff's caked in solder. So I'll put that back together. And we're thinking we might take apart one of these just to see what's inside of here. I modify this to be able yeah, to it's a little easier. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you saying modifying this? Yeah, mo modify this mechanism to where you could like turn on and off on the fly if you wanted to go wherever. Actually, I kind of like this design. We could discover something like, oh, I don't want to use that. <laughs> yeah, that's just the gears then. I'm kind of afraid that that would strip that these would strip out after time, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're cleaning up, and I just discovered this. Batteries! Oh my god. You want a lithium ion one? <laughs> sure. Looks like it's uh, might be dead, but... I'll test the voltage on it. Do you want some ones for 1860s? Um, yeah, I'll take. Because I got a bunch of those, I don't need them, but you, you can probably seen you open them. Oh, yeah. My neck of cadmium. Oh, another laptop battery. Want that one too? Sure. Bound to be a good few cells in there. They only steer in the front, that's stupid. Well, I'd say it's pretty much good for a day. I think it was uh, productive. Yeah, I think so too. So, me and uh, Professor X are gonna go get some pizza now. And might do this again some other time. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. See ya.